So would you like to create a landing page using your Shopify store? We have an actual website on the Shopify, but here I wanted to create an actual landing page to make this stuff much more faster. So to create a landing page, first of all, uh, let's understand the landing page. So landing pages are standalone web pages designed to capture leads and drive conversions. Now, there's a lot of elements that we can use to use here into our customization of the landing page of our dashboard. If I focus directly into Shopify, first of all, I'm going to leave a link to download in the description, guys, so we can all get started totally for free. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is to start my new landing page. A landing page is something different from the actual online store, something much more faster, easier to get started in. So if I focus here inside the section that says applications, just type the word landing page and then go for search landing page into the Shopify app store. This one should be sending me to the app store of Shopify where I can download a lot of websites and applications that I can use directly into my store. So what you can do is to create one using uh, Lendify, you can go for design packs and so much more. Let's go and focus into something which is totally for free, which is the page fly. This one has a free plan bosun, but this one only is available for only one landing page so you wanna take that in mind. Once you just selected the element which you'd like to install, it's going to be asking you to grant the access between the app and the Shopify. So we're going to hit now into install. Directly into the installation, now we're going to be having access directly into the dashboard. Follow the prompts in order to accept the page fly and add it directly into your store. Now that we have access directly into our dashboard, it's going to be asking you how would you like us to get started. Usually, in this case, for this particular tutorial, I'm going to get started and creating my very first free one slot. So I'm going to go for create my first page from an actual template. So we can choose regular, home, product, collection, blocked, or so much more. If I go for create my very first page, what I can do is to look out for regular. Inside the regular, we can see that we have the templates where we can just get started in. Now, if I clicked here, I'm going to type landing page. And we can see that we have templates for this landing page. In this case, there is no template for it. So we're going to try to select just one of it says landing and we can see that we have gift landing Father's Day for example. So if you're okay with this landing page what I can do is to go for select and we can start to customize our landing page. So as you can see we have the elements of the subscribe button, we have the what happy customers say, the feather days and whatever. This is the part where you want to customize your landing page. So for example here I'm going to click into celebrate uh, that's today in style and I'm going to delete and I'm going to change this for my the name of my store. Now here how the logo of my store which is cool is for everybody. All right and now uh, where it says shop now this button should be leading to a specific section so I can create new elements here or I can just leave as it is. In this case I'm going to delete this and change the image that I'm actually seeing here. So the background image, I'm going to go for select and select an image that we have already added for our store, which in this case is going to be this one. So as you can see, here it is, and I go for done. Now down here have our best sellers. It doesn't look that bad, but what I can do is to change the global style for header number one. There we go. Our best sellers, I can just select this element and I want to see it. Now the product list, if you want to see product uh, collection, I can go here into custom collection. And of course, choosing a specific collection. In this case, I can go for the loyal collection and go for select. And automatically, all of my collections should be displayed directly into my landing page. Check out how it actually looks. We have now the option value, the option value, the quantity field, auto the card, and whatever. And scrolling a little bit down, we have the collection view details where I can add a different collection. For example, only hoodies. And I go for select. This is how we actually use a landing page. What I wanted to do is to have all the access about our stuff just in just one uh, store. Now here makes that extra deck spatial. I can just delete it and add elements about myself. For example, make yourself look cool, right? And here, scrolling a little bit down, you can delete the element if you buy. We pack, in our case, actually, this, this looks really well. So what I need to do now in this case is to add it the column of the image that I'm actually saying here. So I can select this and usually should be added to our images that are automatically uh, were added with the elements that we could just add into the files. So this column should be added automatically. 
our topics for that. So you can just delete uh, for that and you can customize this for for you. Right? Shop hollow, shop shots, shop shots. If there are elements that you don't want to see or there's a section that you don't want to see, just select the whole section and go here for delete. Now we are ready to showcase our landing page, right? So let's go into the upper side. Let's go for safe. This is the part where you wanted to go for landing page and go for safe. Now I wanted to publish this landing page, right? So once the page has now been successfully saved, it, I'm going to go for published. And here I have the landing page and this is the page URL. So I go for published and we're actually good to go. So just preview your site and then you're actually good to go. So guys, as you can see, we now have access directly into the landing page. It doesn't look that bad. So just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. This is a really easily element of how you can create a landing page with application. Of course, there are elements that are totally free, but with true limited, so you want to check that out there from plans if you want to create more landing page into Shopify. So with that being said, guys, you have the very end of the video. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools and how we can get started using the Shopify app store elements. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Hopefully we can all see you next time.